All right, what's up everybody on deck with Third Eye Cam and today's date is July 27, 2020 and the time right now is 22.03. That's 10.03 for my civilians. Um, I am looking up once again, trying to find uh, Neowise. Hopefully I can find it. It's somewhere over in this direction. I got my night vision on my stand and I got my GoPro on my head. So we'll be catching things too, as you should be able to see the moon showing up. Hopefully, uh, with my night vision, I should be able to catch um, Comet Neowise, something with a tail on it. If not, then I tried. I still have not seen that thing. So what I'm gonna do is kind of freelance on my stick and rotate around, look kind of look around and see if I can find it. It would be nice if I could find it, you know, real talk. And we do see the moon. There's the moon. Where's the moon? There's the moon. There's our most beloved moon. Rotate around. And let you see Jupiter. Jupiter. There's Jupiter. Oh yeah, it's got one of his moons out. And Saturn should be there. Boom. So you see Saturn. And you see Jupiter. Let's zoom in on Jupiter real quick. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go color real quick. I need to get that in color, so give me a second. I need to get this stuff in color. I, I don't really want to do it any other way. All right, so let's zoom in on Jupiter real fast. The reason why I always start out with Jupiter because it's like not too bright and it's at the right distance. And uh, it just works really well with what I'm looking for. There's Jupiter, tighten it up. Keep it on Jupiter for a minute. All right, just doing some little checks here and there and Jupiter kind of just ran away, you see that? These moons, they swing around Jupiter really fast. Let me see if I can get closer. I'm gonna get closer then I'll, I'll stiff, stiffen it. Like I said, Jupiter's always my, one of my favorites to get. There's a moon up also above it right there when it's little other little moons. I'm really digging my Bob Love uh, night vision because it really shows up and it gets really close. Like I haven't even hit my eight yet. I'm at 722, now I just hit eight. You see what I'm saying? Really close. Let me see if I can find Saturn. And there's Saturn, just that fast. And that's it, pushed all the way up to eight. Now of course you're not gonna see the rings because we're just overtly severely too close uh, I mean the, the, the camera is too bright only issue I have with this Bob Love is that I should be able to hit the button one time and, and those numbers should drop but they don't so you gotta push the button once you know constantly constantly push it to back it off but you know it's alright we work around it it gets the job done. All right. Now, last night I caught like some UFOs 
and um, it was just really trippy. Oh, I just saw something light up over here. Maybe it's my, there's a cloud, let's see. Yeah, just saw something light up. We'll come back to it. Like I said, I'm really looking for Neo Wise. So I got this thing on the mountain, I'm gonna swivel it around. If I could catch Neo Wise, like that'd be awesome. Something with a tail. Uh, there's another pyramid. I've been catching a lot of pyramids lately. I know there are a lot of stars that light up in the pyramidal. Actually, that looks like two pyramids. We got the smaller pyramid. Inside of the big pyramid on the cornerstone. But I'm really trying to, uh, gotta, where's that, I see a jet. Let's see if I can catch him. Where are you? push all the way out looking for a jet I just saw a jet there he is see now this jet has an FFA the UFOs that were showing up last night had no FFA see how he's sparkling and all like he's supposed to the UFOs I was catching last night they kept zooming back and forth back and forth no FFA no, nothing to light up they just were a, a steady light like this oh my god I just saw a freaking meteorite damn it just saw a freaking meteorite like the things came they came in too fast and it just kind of went away <sighs> oh well there's a lot of activity over my head Let me see if I can scour the sky for new eyes because this is going to be a short one. We saw the uh, jet. Maybe I've probably already seen new eyes and I can't make it out, but you know, it's just really hard to make out something that's uh, that you can't recognize it, you know? I guess it's that far out. But we're still seeing all these stars out out there. It would be nice to catch it just one time. There's another jet with a FFA. I think. Or it might be just a comet. I mean a, a star or a planetoid. Looks more, it looks, looks more like a meteorite, has a rotation. It's not really moving. So with that, I'm gonna zoom in on it. I'm gonna have to zoom in on this one. As long as it doesn't move, we can get to it. I need to see exactly what this is flickering. Make sure it's clear. Damn it, come on. Matter of fact, let me, let me tighten this thing down. Cause I'm gonna end up losing this. So let me find it again, and then we gonna lock it in uh, as soon as I find it. I hope I didn't lose it that quick. Jesus Christ, I lost it that fast. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'll find that again. Trust me, it's not going away. Okay, there it is. So let me lock in on it. Actually, no, that's not it. There it is. Nope. I lost it that fast. That's the only thing I hate about this whole deal. There we go. Okay. So let me lock in on it. And, and, and focus for one. That's how I lost it. So I'm gonna lock my base because my base is twitching around too much. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't uh, lock any of my grooves down. All right, so now we're gonna zoom in. 
Because I really need to see exactly what that is. Just get a good look at it, you know. Ah, no, these freaking bugs are eating me up, y'all. These bugs are not nice when you're trying to work. All they want to do is get a meal. <laughs> and I'm just trying to work here. But I guess that's, this is the, the, the horror that we go through for you all. You know what I mean? This thing literally has a blink to it. And I'm going to get as close as I can. I should be able to get all the way close. So I apologize in advance for the shakiness. Then we'll tighten it up as I get closer. You know, we're almost at our max magnification. That is our max magnification on it. Look how beautiful that is. So it's got to be some kind of asteroid or it can't be a star. It just looks too, uh, make sure I'm sharp. Sharp as I can get it. It's just got some kind of brilliance to it. That's amazing. Now I can't even see that with my naked eye, so I'm wondering if that's uh, my, my comet. Because it's at the horizon. That's due west. This is due west. Due west. And you can see it going down. There's the camera sitting still, steadily moving down. Now I can't get enough of this stuff. Like, I picked the right night vision scope. Let me rotate it down a little. I was real hesitant about what kind of night vision scope I wanted because I didn't know what, I didn't want to get something that was rinky dink, you know, and I was ordering online, so I really took my time with this deal. But this this right here is the business for a monocle. All right, so that's good right there. All right. I'm going to back up off of it before I actually uh, start rotating. I don't know if that's a planet or not, but it's got a brilliant flash to it. And again, I can't even see this with my naked eye. At all. All right, we're gonna break and rotate. I have to raise my camera up so I can like once I go vertical it's above my head. Now see how that's, that light had a brilliant bling to it? I wonder what this one is. If this is this more than likely I'm gonna zoom in on it but it, it, this one more than likely is just a uh, oops sorry about that kind of looking around. Zoom in on this one. This is probably a solid body. Like a asteroid body. Or, the other one had a bling, a, a, you know, a bling to it. So I don't know if it is uh a star, because all stars flash, they pulse. This one might just be a, a solid body. Has no flash to it. I'm getting in close. I think this is a, like a moon away. No, we got a lot of rogue planets around here. Now that's all the way in. You see no flash to it, no brilliance. It looks like it's reflecting light and not really um, giving off light. So I think that's a solid body. Let's see if I can catch any of uh, these other. Now that one's giving off uh, a flash and it's red. Crazy.
I'm gonna zoom back here shortly. I just want to get a good look in, zoomed all the way in. Matter of fact, I'm gonna keep it zoomed in for a minute. Might know, never know what we're gonna catch. So let me, let me loosen up my my locks and kind of just pan around. That one's got a flash to it. So I'm thinking the solid ones that don't flash like this are planetoids. And the ones that have a flash to it, those are either meteorites, sitting kind of static in space, or stars, giving off a pulse. You just don't really see much of that like that. I'm still learning all this, but this is interesting to see it all like this in this format. Look at it, and this stuff is in a cluster giving off a nice little pulse. I wonder if those are meteorites. And they're all sitting in the cluster. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at all that. Sitting in the cluster. What is this? Trying to locate my big dip and little dip of stars. That I definitely know. You know, I think because um, in looking at Jupiter, Jupiter doesn't give off a pulse. It just gives, gives off a solid. No, I just didn't see Jupiter giving off a pulse. Oh shit! Here's my comment. <laughs> Yes, there it is. Let me lock this bad boy down so I don't lose this. That's my comment. There it is, finally. I've been looking for this comment for the longest. See the tail on it? It's the only one that has a tail. Let me bring this down a little bit. We about to go in on Neowise. Jeez. People, it's been a minute since I've been looking for this thing and I could never find it. Finally, comment near wise. <laughs> we have finally found comment damn near wise. Now I checked my phone's telemetry and it said it was pretty much in this direction. This is due west. It's the only one that has a, a, a tail on it. You can see it really sharp. Now it's kind of faded. I can't even see it with my eyes. Yeah, it's Comet Neowise. We're going to zoom all the way in on it. Now, it's going to look kind of distorted, but um, I'll back up off of it. I just need to get in close on it. Don't worry, I'm going to clean this up as best I can. Finally, I've been trying to find this damn thing. It, it's sad that I had to get night vision just to find it. So, there's your Comet Neowise up close all the way, max range. You still see it moving. I'm about to back it out, but I just had to get in close on it. All right, so we're gonna back it off. Finally, jeez, man. And it's way out there too, chasing the sun, but you can see the tail on it. That's the only reason I could pick it out. It's the only star that has a, a faded tail on it. No other star has a tail on it. Look at it. In contrast to all the stars around it. And I think I'm gonna go black and white too, real quick. Let me see. Get my controls. I'm still learning these controls uh, without even shutting the video down. Like I can't restart it. Yep, that's Neo Watch. Jesus Christ, man, it's beautiful. All right, yep. Just had to go black and white. Oh, just saw something flash. Yep, there's Neowise, man. Y'all, it's a pleasure and an honor to finally catch this thing. Oh my God. I don't have the sophisticated technology like what the scientists have. But uh, there it is. 
There's some other comments up there too, but I'm not about to hunt them down. This thing is like mad faded. And you can see it really, really well. Really well. See the tail on it. In contrast to all the other SARS that are just sitting there static, no tail. So finally, whew. Let me see. Uh, I can't even see it with my naked eye. I really can't. I'm looking. I know it's gonna come back around later and we'll be able to see it, but uh, whew. I, I just got this camera, uh, what, five days ago? Yep, so I'm late in the game, but I finally found it. Let me see if I can't catch more of that tail. Man, that's beautiful. Yeah, you can literally see it. Literally freaking see it. I almost don't want to get off of it now. I almost lost it. In fact, I'm gonna come back down to it. I ain't going nowhere. I just want to look around. I'm trying to see if there's anything else uh, around that proximity. Like, I know that, uh, was it Linears Below the Horizon and Pan Stars? And, uh, just, I don't know where Swan is. I, th I think Swan is already gone, departed around the sun further out supposedly all these are coming back around later but this is all we got right now all right so we got enough of, uh, of uh, my comment i know where to look for it now definitely know where to look for it you see the time is 22 25 so we'll, we'll swing back to it now i know where it is so i'm just looking around real fast in other directions now there's a plane Let's see if I can catch him. There he is. See his afterburners. Zoom in on him. We don't never catch them in a the straight like this, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. I mean, he's moving. He's moving past that star also. Nice. And I'm always constantly fighting with these dang bugs, man. If it ain't the cold messing with me, it's, it's always the summer bugs. But, you know, no worries. I'll suffer through it. I'm pretty tough. This guy ain't got patience for him. Like I said, I'm not going to be out here too long. But I definitely wanted to catch uh, a comet, and I'm glad I finally caught it. Finally, you don't know how much heck I've been catching <laughs> trying to chase this thing down, you know? A lot of heck. So I'm pretty satisfied tonight. I just want to see it before, you know what I'm saying, it gets too far away or what have you. So I'm pretty happy with that. Got some knucklehead burning out on this bike. Probably stressed out, I just want to alleviate the stress. I totally get it. I'm trying to pick up my camera and look around. We were doing the same thing before. Ah, oh, there's my three funny looking stars. Alrighty. And in my pyramid. We're gonna zoom in on all that. Don't zoom in on all that. All right, so. I need to zoom in on all that. I keep coming back to this star every time I point up because it's very 
dominant and prominent in the sky. That's good enough, I don't need to get any closer. I've never seen nothing like that. I mean, I know it's a lot of formations out there, but that is insane. Now let me go over to my little pyramid. There's another one. So we got this one and that cluster. I'm telling you, I think some of these uh, clusters are living quarters for, for alien beings. Some kind of alien being, not of this earth, or a breakaway civilization. For y'all, you that think that man is the center of everything, as in uh, however you see that, I don't know. I'll come back to it. There's a plane right there. See how slow these planes move? And I've been catching UFOs moving faster than that, and he has an FFA light. His FFA light's going, and he's headed to RVA Airport. And by the way, I'm in Petersburg, Virginia, right off of 95, my favorite spot. This is like the only spot where I can come out and get uh, the sky in a good, you know, view. The little UFOs that I have been catching have been moving very fast. I mean, y'all seen some meteorites, but for the most part, this stuff moves very fast. I'm about to wrap this up because my day has been full of heat and uh, the kid is tired. Make sure everything is everything. All right. All right, so I'm real glad that I caught that comet. Let's see if I can scour it again. I probably won't be able to find it this time. It should be in the same position, but lower. Maybe I'll be able to find it again, I don't know. But since I do know what I'm looking for now, it's just the uh, thrill of trying to find it again. It is very faint, but the tail is what gave it away. All these other cluster stars don't have tails on them. They just bling like jewelry. That comment showed up really well. No, there's something at the horizon. Oh, that's my little cluster star, the one I caught earlier. No, these stars are moving. The sky moves fast, you know? I'm not gonna worry about it, we did see it, so that's all that matters. Now, once I get this back on my telescope, I should be able to triangulate straight to it. I'm going to uh, run my telescope. I have my uh, little connection on it where I can run it straight to my computer and just like upgrade it right there on the spot. Drop the map into it, make it ready, friendly user. So once I just plug it in, it goes wherever I, I pretty much tell it. With this uh, night scope attached to it, she'll get there pretty fast. Just want to look up, like vertically up. That's what I have not done yet. Let's 
kind of want to see what was vertically up there. Just a lot of stars, a lot of stars. Oh, that's nice. These car, these stars are really close to, close to each other in these meteorites. There's probably a lot of space between them out there, but they just look close, you know, per my position. And this is directly above my head. On the exact dark side of the Earth. Dark enough. You know, big up to Bob Love. I straight up appreciate you guys, and always give shout outs to the persons who let you know the equipment that I use. Big up to Bob Love, uh, GoPro, Celestron, and Canon, because that's what I'm using right now, and they have been phenomenal in everything that I've caught. My page will not have existed without them, and I'm pretty particular about equipment that I use and I know there's a lot of other equipment out there that I have never used and probably never will use that's more phenomenal but this right here is doing exactly what I need sorry about that y'all mosquitoes are trying to eat me up and I'm about to call it I'm still seeing a lot more pyramids and clusters oh look at that cluster it's like a bullseye All right, we're about to roll out because uh, you know, I got some things to do. We gotta get ready for it tomorrow. These are my stars from the Big Dipper. Yep, Big Dipper stars. All right, third I can, please watch, like, subscribe, and share, and we always appreciate you. And there's my moon. Go back to Jupiter. There's Jupiter. I'm getting to him quick now. And there's Saturn. Alright, third I can. We're out. Poof.